Winners are picked from our comments section, but they will only be notified of their win in our videos. Meaning when you're watching a video, if you won, it'll be mentioned in there, whoever the winners are as they do win. So you must subscribe and hit the bell so that you know when new videos come out. This means you also need to type comment and we would love it if you'd participate. So thank you for watching. So the data is showing the traders are rushing to do what? Like I said, if Bitcoin crashes, it's a good thing they're rushing to buy altcoins. And why is the market crashing? Well, for the most part, it's because there's some new capital gains taxes that are spooking um, some selling. But that's OK. And I'm going to explain to you why. And if I can show you why it's all OK, and if I can show you that there is good news among this perceived bad news, because perception and action is everything, would that be worth three seconds of your time for you to Hit the like button. Thanks if you're already subscribed. Subscribe and hit the notification bell as well if you're not already subscribed. And I'll make you happy. You're gonna love that you did it. You're gonna be happy that you're here and that you found the channel. And if you're not, because I'd like you to do this now, because I know like myself, when I watch things, sometimes when I like them, I forget to hit the like button and subscribe if I don't do it at the beginning of the video. And if you're not happy, just take it back. Show me. Just unsubscribe take back the like and that way you won't be a new subscriber if you find that it wasn't worth it but i promise you it will be so hit that subscribe hit the notification bell and hit the like button it helps me tremendously i'd love you it helps me with the algorithm and i'd love it if you did it now let's get into it so data shows traders rushed to buy altcoins during bitcoin's dip to 50k i made a video about this a few days ago how uh, a crash and it's not a, really a crash but it's just a downturn for the moment it's temporary um, and I made a video about how Bitcoin crash I think it was titled um, helps TRX Tron and you so in short this is a buying opportunity and I don't see it going lower than 10 cents I think it dipped temporarily below 10 cents but like I said in prior videos and of course not investment advice it's just my opinion um, I don't think it's going to go lower than 10 cents, although it already did by a hair. And I can't be right 100% of the time. Nobody is. The best of the best are not right 100% of the time. Does not exist. You just need to be right more than you're wrong and be smart. So let's get into it. Um, now, Bitcoin's recent downturn temporarily pulled its dominance rate down to 49.5%, which is the lowest level. And I'm going to give you some news, by the way, that you're probably not aware of. And I'll do that in a little bit. Um, that's also very helpful and useful. So uh, dominance rate down to 49.5%, which is the lowest level since August 2018. This has led a growing number of traders to predict that altcoins will outperform Bitcoin in the short term. I 100% agree with that. Um, it creates opportunity and also, you know, altcoin projects like Tron that are very attractive, that are gaining momentum, that have shown, proven that they're for real, that have been around for a bit, are the smartest buy because what typically happens is when the smoke and mirror alts out there crash, they come out strong, there's the smoke machine and the hype, they pump and pump and pump. And then once, you know, some time passes, and in some cases it could be, you know, even a half a year, some months or a year or two years, usually at the most, they disintegrate, they, 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 they get destroyed because they have no business, they have no infrastructure, or they had a decent idea, but they have no clue at all and they know that they have no idea what implementation means and they cannot structure implement and scale anything so the ones that have been around like tron and BitTorrent, they are going to reign supreme and in these types of climates when money is shifting the money is going to go there it creates opportunity the altcoins get consumed and prices go north so again i can't stress this enough in my opinion btt also took a bit of a pounding buy it up and tron if you're holding buy it up it's a tremendous buying opportunity uh, i'm in at four cents a few years ago late 2017 so i'm not going to buy more at this price but if i was if i was because i'm holding a decent amount at this point but if i was and if i did and if you bought it 18 cents buy more like crazy and just hold that's my opinion it will serve you well do not 
<coughs> excuse me, do not panic. Do not ever allow yourself to sell because you're down. It's not a loss until you've sold. So no matter how much you think you've lost, no matter what it looks like on paper, it's not a loss until you sell. So don't sell, hold. And if you just don't have the money to buy more, still hold. That's the best thing that you can possibly do. It will go up. But if you have the money, get more. All right, over the past few months, the price action from altcoins seems to be disengaging from Bitcoin. Yeah, and this is very good and leans into what I've been trying to say uh, and have said in other videos. So take, for example, Ether, which hit a new all-time high today, even as Bitcoin price is down 20% from its all-time high. Since then, the bears the, and the bulls, by the way, as always, here's my source, Crypto News. You can go there, look at the whole article, take your time, look at the charts. Since the bears and the bulls have been battling it out at the 20-day exponential moving average, 35.89, the bulls are attempting to defend the 20-day EMA support and the next leg of the up move while the bears are trying to extend the correction by breaking the support. The marginally rising 20-day EMA and the relative strength index RSI above 57 indicate a minor advantage to the buyers. If the bulls can push and sustain the price above 40, the link USDT pair could retest 44.33. USDT also works off of Tron. You got it. A breakout of this resistance could start the next leg of the uptrend, which could reach $50 and then $55.72. This bullish view will validate if the bears sink and sustain the price below the 20-day EMA. Such a move could pull the price down to the 50-day simple moving average, 31.42, and delay the start of the next leg of the uptrend. Banned USDT. Band protocol was featured by Cointelegraph on February 2nd when its price was at $11.14. Since then, the price has rallied to an all-time high at $23.30 on April 15th, a gain of 109% in about two and a half months. Now, this is just to give you an idea. Listen, it's not just, you know, um, Tron and BTT. I think they're the best bets and the best moves of the bunch. But there's plenty of examples to back up what I'm trying to get across to you. So pay attention to the altcoins and do not be spooked. In disparity, there is always opportunity. So look at it as an opportunity because what's happening is an opportunity. The protocol announced on April 15th that its Oracle data is live on Google Cloud public data, which can be used to build traditional hybrid blockchain and cloud ap applications. Band said that the integration into Google Cloud public data was the first among many use cases being explored with partners to bridge traditional enterprises and blockchain applications. By the way, I see Tron TRX at over a buck by June next year. I see BTT at over 19 or 20 cents by that same time. And in the short term, my price predictions for both, I see Tron settling down at about 20 cents. And I believe that that's going to happen by November or December. We're in April now, May, June, July, August, September, actually by October. So October 2021. And I see BTT actually doing something pretty cool. I see it sitting at five cents by that same time. Band has continued to build partnerships to increase its market share in the past month. It has announced partnerships with Crystal, Equilibrium and Polygon. Additionally, one of the biggest financial institutions in Thailand, SCB, 10X partnered with Band as a node validator. Band is currently trading inside a large range between 1150 and 2062. The bulls had pushed the price above the overhead resistance of the range on April 15th and 16th, but they could not build up on the breakout. The bulls are currently attempting to defend the 20 day EMA. $15.08. A strong bounce off this support will indicate that the sentiment remains positive and the bulls are accumulating on the dips they're buying the dip so 
However, the negative divergence on the RSI suggests the momentum may be weakening if the bears sink the price below the 20-day EMA, the QTUM USDT pair could slump to the 50-day 1047 where the buyers may step in to stall the decline. A strong rebound of the 50-day SMA could keep the pair range bound for a few days while a break below the support will suggest the bears are back in the game. So, you know what? Rome isn't built in a day and things work on statistics on averages. So any business, any investment, any form of entrepreneurship, active or inactive, works on stats. And stats are not built on and not proven in one particular day or in an hour. There's always upturns and downturns. And the secret is knowing how to navigate these waters, not emotionally, but logically, being smart, being shrewd, taking advantage of the opportunities, and it's over the longer term and the longer short term that the battles are won and lost. So look at this as a six-month window. Look at this as a be happy day. Buy the heck out of TRX and BTT because it is an opportunity. The altcoins are flexing their muscles because of the shift that's happening in the market. I hope this finds you well. Have a great weekend. Be healthy and happy, and I will see you on the next video.